Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Faraday's episode on GTA 5 with the FRB driving through the streets, or on a mission uh, through the streets of Los Santos, when everything goes, you know, a little bit wrong. Nothing too untoward in all of that got taken out by some of the mercenaries. It happens sometimes on these missions. The weird thing, however, is as they respawn, the game decides to drop an exploding car on them. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, I don't know why that happened, but just random sky car for you apparently. Uh, Calvin Toda is up next with a uh, dump truck going a little bit too fast around a corner, uh, and it, well there's no player down at the bottom there to catch an exploding dump truck, but uh, yeah there's a little too much speed through a twisty section and the rather top heavy vehicle falls off the uh, falls off the cliff. We're on to Cyberpunk next with a curb that's had enough of cars driving over it and actually a wonderful shot uh, perfectly perfectly wedged between the wall well I guess all the motorway wall up is a building or another sort of wall either way the car is stuck and that is not going to be going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, that would be quite a difficult car to get out of as well. Uh, Rusky is up next on uh, Batman Arkham Knight uh, with, uh, you know, I presume some sort of driving racing minigame uh, going through this sort of moving maze bit uh, that manages to first launch the vehicle up and over. Doesn't get stuck uh, in all of this, but as we're going through, the next bit launches the car up and over and then squished by the giant pistons. Uh, okay, the Batmobile gets going again, but... Uh, yeah, uh, apparently that will, uh, that's one way, that's if you need to defeat Batman, that's that's what you need to do, apparently. Uh, up next we have Cody Hawk Caster on Armour 3. Now, I know what you're thinking, we've got a boat trying to be loaded with some rather heavy vehicles. I know what Armour 3 physics can do sometimes, and well... You're not going to be disappointed with what goes on as the APC manages to make its way onto the landing craft. There's a little bit of shuffling about, and sure enough, the landing craft goes off to space. Yep, that's definitely how physics work. In fact, it's, it could still be going to this day for all we know, because that's the end of the clip. Uh, who knows? Maybe it's still up there. Uh, the FJ is up next on Farming Sim, trying to do what is, what should be, a fairly straightforward job. We're loading some pallets onto a trailer. Physics has decided that's not going to work. No. No, we're going to first launch the forklift truck around for no real good reason. Okay, well that's fine. We'll go and pick the pallets up again. This time we'll try having them in a different position, quite high up. This seems a little bit risky to me, I'm not going to lie. And sure enough, nope, Physics has had enough of that one as well. We're going to just spin and flip and twist around and drop the pallets on the floor again. No problem, we will go for attempt number three at putting the pallets on the truck. Uh, not quite got the forks in place the first time, but there we go. That's sensible. Right, we're not going to put the forks all the way up to the top. That still doesn't matter. We're just going to go for many spins now. Not quite got the height of the landing craft from the last clip, but uh, yeah, now there are problems with the forklift. It's stuck on its side. It's not ideal, really. That, that's not quite supposed to happen. So some time passes. It goes to night. Uh, <laughs> The palace is finally picked up, and look at this! We're driving, it's not glitched out, it's not flung itself around the map for no real good reason. If I actually get to the back of the truck here, I'm uh, going to drive up the ramp carefully, because you know what the physics is like, a little bit iffy, but we get the forklift onto the truck. Uh, just, oh dear, no, 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 physics has rejected it again. <laughs> this time, the pallet stays on, but yeah, that's a difficult job. That is a difficult job indeed. Wolf Striker is up next on Wreckfest driving around the uh, Kingston figure of eight circuit. Uh, now, I've seen all sorts go on around this track. First of all, runs wide, rolls the car on their own. Not ideal. Goes to set off, hits by one AI and a second AI, and is mostly spun and then put into a wall by another AI. Tries desperately to recover, and now we're fully spun, pointing the wrong way, and another AI has joined in the fun, and another one has decided to put them in a wall, and no, still not going to be let, uh, let go yet, and there's a still further insult to injury at this point. Might finally be able to get turned around. I think they lost a lap, pretty much, in... <laughs> In all of that. Oh dear. The AI can be mean. It can be mean indeed. We're on to BeamNG Drive next uh, with... This is a, a recent-ish update. Is a kind of rally version of the Bolide. It's essentially a Lancia 37 style car. It does have a party piece. Yes, it snaps in half. Uh, <laughs> the car... The car snaps in half. This one snaps in half when going up a hill. I guess it's not perfectly smooth. And something caught on the underside of the car and, well, tore it apart. Now, I mean, that's quite an impressive crash, I'm not going to lie. 
any crash in which a car gets torn in half is is pretty impressive for this game. The most impressive bit, though, is that the back end still works. Of course, it's rear-wheel drive. The engine and all of that stuff is in the back of the back half of the car, so you can still use the throttle, and it's fallen off. And I guess it's somehow still slightly connected to the front, because it's rolled that over, which is a bit weird. But there we go. Uh, however... It doesn't just fall apart. Uh, it can sometimes go for a big old tumble and a bounce and a roll and continue on like nothing's happened. Uh, it, you know, it does have a little bit of strength to it. Uh, that's normally what you see on Dirt Rally, not on Beam and G Drive, but there we go. Uh, Tomahawk Jackson is with our final clip on iRacing. This is players messing around with some AIs in the I think, Formula 3 cars or whatever. Uh, the Indy car gets wedged in the wall. Now, okay, that's a little bit of a problem. That's not supposed to be there. It's not supposed to be stuck or wandering around. So another player comes in and tries to help them out. Doesn't go according to plan, it is safe to say. First car, still stuck in the wall. Uh, the second car that's been involved with this is now also very broken. And in trying to recover, manages to beach itself. Uh, with a broken wheel at the back, it is now unable to move from there. I mean, the AI are going to get the last laugh in all of this, as the uh, Formula 3 cars will drive past with no problems. I mean, this car is very, very stuck. It can't do anything. Another player uh, will turn up and think, you know what, we're going to help out this stricken car. Uh, they try. First attempt didn't really do very much, so they back up and go for a second attempt, and, I mean, it's moved it. Uh, they get going and carry onwards. No, it's still stuck. It's it's still wedged on the banking, and that's what happens when you mess around with AI. Yes, sometimes sometimes karma will uh, will very much get the better of you. But there we go. That is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via a Google form. There'll be a link to it in the description. All the rules and how it works can be found on there. That though is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.